Welcome MHS Lions fans back to Bicentennial Center Salina. We're here for the second game of the tournament for the Lions against the Sterling Black Bears. This is the Sterling's first game in the tournament, our second. Well, Sterling will play Rossville tomorrow. And uh, I'll go ahead and find that other. I'll go ahead and do this. Where's the other uh, mic? Anyway, we're back here. The Lions are 1-1 on the season. Experienced a very frustrating loss uh, yesterday to the Rossville Bulldogs. One that they probably could have and should have won, but they didn't. So can't cry over it anymore. We have to look to the rest of the season and keep going. The Lady Lions won a nice victory today, 31-29 over the Sterling Black Bear ladies. Uh, we played these kids uh, last week, last year, Mike, at the Sterling Invitational Tournament. Uh, had a fairly easy time with them early in the game, but then they started shooting lights out from three-point land and ended up being fairly competitive in the second half. We'll have to see if they continue that this year or not. Talked to Coach just briefly, and he thought they were probably going to be pretty solid. Well, we're taller than they are. Hopefully we can take advantage of that and use our uh, speed and hopefully our three-point shooters will be better prepared tonight than they were last night. Didn't happen very often, but Minneapolis Lions kind of got outplayed yesterday in that second half of that Rossville game. Early had a 15-point lead there in the second half. And I don't know, I think maybe some of the flu bug was hurting a couple of the boys. and. First of all, for Minneapolis. Didn't finish it off, did they? Yeah, you can see a couple of them were hurting pretty good. Ryan Mortimer had a very good game yesterday. Ryan Mortimer had a real good game yesterday. 14 points and uh, a lot of uh, steals in the paint coming out of there. Thought he had a real good game. I don't think there was hardly a shot he put up that missed. Ryan's probably going to see some pretty uh, tight defense uh, all year long. It looked like uh, Rossville had a guy that was within three or four foot of him all night long. So, you know, Ryan's got to learn how to play through that and, and score despite it. You know, you're right. They're going to be after him. Same with Crum. <laughs> And, you know, if we're hitting from the outside, this is going to free Luke Wheel up inside tremendously. Ian Lott. Definitely. Rounding out the starters for the Minneapolis Lions. Try captain. Six foot seven inch senior, number 34, Luke Wheel. And for the Black Bears, six foot one inch junior, number 50, J.D. Bunkman. Luke Weedle with 18 points in the first half last night and uh, ended up with a pretty strong game also. Yeah. He's one of them I think might have been overcome by flu a little bit. He was hurting. You could see he was really hurting physically before the game was over. And I know it's not due to a lack of wind sprints because I've seen these boys working like crazy in practice. <laughs> I thought Joe Zucker came off the bench and gave him some uh, valuable minutes. Yes, he did. He did a very, had a very good game. Very good job. Came up with, or he forced a, a uh, steal there right at the end that could have been the miracle shot that won it for us. Unfortunately, it just didn't bounce in. And uh, that's the way it goes. Here come the Lions for game three of the season. Luke Weedle to tip off. Sterling is in Class 3A this year for, so it moved up out of 2A for basketball and wrestling. And the tip, the lot, controlled by the Lions. Ryan Weed, the layup is out. We get the tip there, Dale, and just... Uh like Ryan was just a little bit too far under the bucket. Yeah. The one quite in good enough position for him. Crumb talks the ball out of bounds. Yeah, 
Minneapolis in their man-to-man. -man. Defense pretty tight. The running jumper's out for the Bears. Rebounded by Lott. Out to Weedle down to Crum. Just inside the three-point line, it's over. Black Bears get the rebound. Down they come on the fast break. Inside, working on Luke Weedle. Puts it up and out. They get the rebound. Blocking foul on Josh Lott. Blocking foul on Josh as Sterling drives to the basket. His first personal. Luke Weedle knocks the ball out. Turnover on the Bears. They couldn't control it after that. They got their hands back on it, but could not control. Good tight defense by Minneapolis and turnover for the Sterling Black Bears. Ryan Wheel with the ball. And the Lions get a turnover right away. Joe Zucker comes in to replace Crum. Number 14, Joe Zucker into the lineup for Minneapolis. Willie with a quick hook there on Brandon Crum, and Joe Zucker comes in. Pretty good minutes by Joe yesterday, and An offensive foul of some type. First Three with a hold, or four, excuse me. Um, post jiggling going on down there. First team foul. Both teams with one foul now. Ryan Mortimer just inside the two-point line. His shot is off. Bears with their rebound. They put it down court. Layup is short, and he traveled before the shot. Good call. Josh was there for the stop, and he had to take that shot. He's kind of in between steps and traveled. Sterling also on a man-to-man, -man, Dale, and it's pretty tight defense. Wheeler with free throw line shot, it's out. Sterling gets the rebound. It's 0 for 3 now. Still 0-0 here. Six minutes left in the first quarter. Ryan Mortimer <coughs> almost with a steal there. A little overplay. Coach thought he... Three-pointer. It's out. R. Weedle with the rebound. Down to Mortimer. Josh out to Joe. In the loop. Turn around jumper. Five-footer. Ben rims in. 2-0. Lions. Crum getting set back to come in. Drive on the baseline and count it. Josh Lott gets foul number two. He'll be drawing some time on the soft chairs here real quick. Drew Crossan comes in for him. Crum comes in back for, and yeah. for Mortimer. Free throws out, rebounded by Luke. Crumb down to Zucker. Luke for three. I've been told he can make those, but that one didn't go. Nobody in rebound position for the Lions, unfortunately. Just a little and short, and I don't think Coach likes a shot that quick in the Three pointer. Offense. It's off. Luke with the rebound. He's fouled, no call. Down to Crumb. He drives the baseline, puts it back out to Ryan. Free throw line inside to Luke Weedle. Great, great feed. 
Feed the big boy. Let him stuff it in. Nice dump off pass mm -hmm. by Ryan Weedle and Luke Weedle will another bucket in close. Free throw line shots there for the Bears. Tied the score to four. And Cameron Knox getting ready to come into the game. Uh, well, pretty early for. That's good. I kind of wonder why we didn't have him yesterday. Quite honestly. Pretty bulky, takes up a lot of room, very yep. strong. I think he could have helped. Luke Weedle, free throw line shot is there, 6-4. And Joe Zucker call for a pushing foul, going for the, trying to get a loose ball. One of the few fouls that ref has called all night long, and it was kind of a <coughs> tick attack. That's his first personal. Cameron Knox in for Drew Crossan. Minneapolis a little more strength down low with Cameron in there. A lot of strength. <laughs> Running shot from the sides out. Luke Wheeler with rebound. He's fouled. Good call. Sterling jumps into Luke, trying for that rebound, and good solid rebound by Luke. Number two on the Black Bears. Ryan kicks it out to Crum. Now he drives back to Crum again for three pointer from the side. Swish, nice that's shot. what we need. Nice shot. That's what we need. He's got such a pretty shot, nice release, and that was a uh, shot with confidence. Mm -hmm. Nine to four, Minneapolis. Luke Wheeler with the steal. Out of bounds to the Lions. Last touch by the Bears. It gives us a pretty decent high-low post with Cameron in there. He oh, yeah. High post, and he puts Luke back down under that bucket. So. Tried down low to Cameron. It got away from him. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by the Lions. It's an excellent time of the year to get some of the younger players in. Some good experience and good minutes for Cameron Knox right here against a real three-pointer is out. They get the rebound. Sterling team. Five foot turnaround is out. They push it back in off the rebound. 9 6, Lions, 220 to go in the first quarter. And that's where you want him on that weak side back there on the opposite side. Oh. He's fouled. Yep. Nice little look inside to Cameron Knox. He, uh, when he put it up, I thought, my goodness, that's awful weak, but it was weak because he got fouled. <laughs> They call that on the floor. Oh, it was before the shot? Huh. Okay. And Drew crossing back in. Three team fouls apiece. Ryan Mortimer back in. Oh, well, they got a double odd in there now for Sterling. Jason Ricker, 6'4". Don't see many double odds in nope. high school. Luke Weedle, turn on jumpers out. He's rebounds up and in. Luke Weedle the ball shot. No. Nope. Luke staying right in there, uh, making sure that ball goes in. He follows the shot rather well there for the putback. Three pointer. It's out. Weedle with the rebound. Out to Ryan. Down to Ryan Mortimer. Back to Luke. Kicks it to Cameron. Or to Crum. 15 footers through. <laughs> if Brandon dialed in at the same time, and mm -hmm. this team can really click. Yep. Scoring machine.
Drive up over Luke, and it's in. Number four, Kevin 13 to 8. First Ryan Wheedle down to Crum. Crum, long three pointer. It's out. Not enough arch. Hit the back of the rim. And uh, Crum reached over the back. Looked like he might have just got the ball to me, but the ref was right there. Probably a little bit better look. Brandon called with the foul over the back, and usually refs will call that a foul 90% of the time. But it did look like pretty good defensive play there, Dale. First personal on Brandon. Cameron Knox back in for Luke. Give him a little bit of a breather here with 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Minneapolis ahead, 13-9, 13-10. Warden was working in the crossing. Puts yes, it, he was. Puts it up on the big O, fouls Drew. So Drew goes to the line for two. He even kind of looks like Ostertag, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He had a little bit different haircut, and he'd really look like him quite a bit. A little bit shorter haircut. <laughs> Drew with a nice stroke there on the first shot of his two for free throws. Strike, Minneapolis had 14-10. 15-10. Minneapolis not, uh, I was just getting ready to say, not putting too much pressure, full court pressure, and Ryan, uh, some token pressure coming across half court, called with a foul. And a tie up, possession arrow to Sterling. 15 to 10 the score, 21 seconds to go in the quarter. Oh, Drew Cross and Reese over the back. And this call for a quick foul. Kids come up looking for money, Dale. I thought she was going to ask you for a buck or two instead of me. <laughs> Who was it? My daughter. Oh, I uh, <laughs> didn't think my daughter was here. Boogland, J.D. Boogland, a 6-1 junior going to the line. Timeout. I didn't see who called it. Sterling with, uh, yeah, 30 seconds. Timeout. Minneapolis, uh, 23 seconds. Or how much time's left in this first quarter? Not too much. Hello. Yeah. Josh Lott. Picked up his second foul early here in the first quarter and right in the bench. So Drew Crossan and Cameron Knox getting most of the playing time at that position. Minneapolis uh, getting the ball inside to Luke Weedle and he's pretty much having his way inside. Sterling will throw the ball in with 18 seconds left. <laughs> Three-pointer coming. Trigger it. It's there. 15 to 13. Five seconds left. Will Ryan get it off? Long one coming. Banks off. No good. Ryan with a pretty good look there. Yep. Uh, quite a ways out, but it still had a chance to go in. Minneapolis up 15-13 at the end of the first quarter. Okay, here comes the second quarter. Lions head by two, they inbound the ball. Crumb to Luke Weedle. He temporarily loses possession. Now back to Ryan. Ryan Mortimer with it. Ryan and Crumb. Ryan.
Ryan drives, forces up a shot. It just about goes in anyway. Ryan Morton with the rebound, five footer from the sides out. Rebound to the Black Bears. Black Bears take a lead on a three pointer at 16 15. I thought maybe his foot might have been on the line, but it wasn't. Joe Zerker set to come in. The next stoppage. 2 1 2 zone with the Black Bears. Ryan Wheeler, long three-pointer, it's out. Over the back, no call. Rebound to the Bears. Sterling able to hold her own on the glass and claim that rebound over Minneapolis there. Three-pointer coming for the Bears. It rims out. Ryan Mortimer with the rebound. Good box out by the big guys and uh, Ryan's right there for the Ryan, rebound. Ryan Wheeler drives, kicks it back up in the morning. A little 10 footer is there. Ryan's got a good shot. 17 16 lead now for the Lions. Nice little one hand jumper by Ryan Mortimer in the lane. It's Minneapolis, the lead again. And they throw, throw the ball across court out of bounds to the Minneapolis bench. Joe Zucker comes in for Ryan Weedle. Brandon Crum will take the point guard position. Rotation. Nice shot by Luke. Free throw line shot. Bounces off the front of the rim and in. 1916 Lions. Minneapolis in a little bit of a zone here. A little different look. Let's we'll see if Sterling can. Traveling. You can't shake your body that much, buddy. Your feet eventually follow. <laughs> <laughs> I shook like that, I threw my knee out of place. <laughs> Trying to do an Elvis impersonation out there, I think. He evidently brought both feet up off the floor, and they called him for a walk. Ryan Mortimer with the ball in the corner. Five foot, turn, ten footer on the front is out. And Luke Weed will call for a rebounding foul over the back. Number 34, Luke Weed will pick up his first personal foul. Seventh team foul, first personal on Luke. So the Black Bears go to the line for a one and one. Black Bears have four team fouls. We're a little ways out of the one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I thought Luke turned loose of the ball before the Sterling guy brought it into himself. It didn't look like too much of a foul. <coughs> to well, I think Luke agreed with you. He didn't. He wasn't happy with the foul. But Luke with the rebound on the missed free throw. I was just getting ready to comment on how well. Uh, these teams we played have shot their free throws, and Sterling misses the front end of one and one, <laughs> so timely. Yep. Mortimer then put the Zucker underneath. He looks to Weedle and looks it up and in. I was hoping we weren't going to get a three second call there. It was close, wasn't it, Dale? Three-point coming, it swooshed. Well, they haven't lost their three-point shooters. It's 21-19, Lions. Crumb for three, it's out. They get the rebound. Shot looked good, I thought he had that one down. 
Another three-pointer from the side. It rims out. Off Drew Crossan. Cameron Knox had to come in. Drew Crossan going to have to claim that rebound with both hands. He's down low. That's his ball to grab and tip it to control it. It's kind of tough to do when you're down underneath like that. Ball goes out of bounds. Back to Sterling. Cross court pass. Long two pointer coming. It's off. Luke Weedle tips it to Crum. Down it comes to Mortimer. Layup coming. It's tipped out of bounds. Hand oh. across the arm. He holds his hands up like he didn't, but he did. He had him across the arm, and Ryan Mortimer will shoot too. Uh -huh. There's no doubt he's in the act of shooting. First one's out. 15 foul. Second personal on number three. And second one rims out. Knox almost has a rebound. He gets away to the Black Bears. Ryan Wheedle does a silly little reach in foul from behind. Gets called for foul number eight for the Lions. Second personal on Ryan. First of the one and ones is in, 21-20, Lions. <coughs> Makes the second one, ties it. Down to Mortimer, he drives. Ten-footer from the side, it's through. <coughs> Sweet shot there from the baseline. Ryan Mortimer with a 12-foot jumper. It's Minneapolis three back Three pointer on top. coming. Swish. We're getting out three pointed. Knox drives. Back to Mortimer. Crumb picks up the loose ball. Drives up. Puts a shot up from the side over the rim. First time I've ever seen the referee talk to the people up in the stands, but that one sure didn't have much to good to say about Mr. Mortimer. The ref actually turned and said something to the fans? Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Same uh, ref that hasn't blown that whistle all night. Uh, Ryan Mortimer picks up a foul. No, I was Chrome picked up the foul. Second personal, ninth team foul. First of the one and ones goes in. I know Brad uh, Kaiser has been pretty sick today. You probably won't see him. I got a couple kids still pretty sick, so Brad's one of them. Trevor Adkins in for the Lions. Brandon Crum needing a little breather, and Trevor Atkins in for him. Knox, free throw line shot. High archers out. And uh, they get the rebound. Atkins almost gets a steal. Walk. They do call it. 26 23, the Lions behind. A minute 40 to go in the second quarter. Luke Wheel inside to Knox. And they're calling Knox for a elbow. That was on the number 42. 
Tenth foul, double bonus shot coming up for the Black Bears. 1.32 to go in the half. Cameron trying to post up there, gets the elbow for position there, and he's called for a foul. Twenty-seven, twenty-three. Twenty-eight, twenty-three. Five point deficit for the Lions. And I hope somebody wakes up pretty soon and starts playing the basketball. Ryan Mortimer, Mortimer and uh, Luke Weedle, the only starters in right now for the Lions. Over to Zucker. Trying to post it into Mortimer or Weedle. It didn't work. Mortimer down low. Kicks it back out to Adkins. Three pointer. It's off. Black Bears with the rebound. Boy, they have out rebounded us horribly this quarter. Adkins with the steal. Layup is there. That's good. 20 good heads out move by Trevor Atkins. 25, 45 seconds to go in the quarter. Three pointer coming for the Bears. It's in. Sterling probably now with four or five three pointers. We're going to have to get out on them. Luke Weedle is fouled on the turnaround. Is there a sixth team foul? Another foul on Ostertag. <laughs> the big double lot. First personal. In the loop, turn on jumper, it's out. Rebound to the Bears. He carried the ball. Another three pointer. Short. They get the rebound. Long two pointer, swish through. 11 seconds to go, it's 33-25. Sterling, six seconds. Mortimer, long two-pointer, it's in. All right, the buzzer, we get a deuce by Ryan Mortimer. 33-27, the Lions trail by six after two quarters of play. And hopefully they'll get something figured out at halftime, you think? Yeah, I think we'll regroup. Uh, we'll play a little better ball there in the second half. I think uh, coaches let some of the starters sit on the bench and stew that second quarter. Just think about it a while. I think it must be something about uh, his strategy there. I think that, and we've got some sick kids that uh, he's going to have to go a little deeper in his lineup here. You can tell by Trevor Atkins and Cameron Knox getting some playing time here in the first half. Joe Zucker with a lot of good minutes. So, of course, with Josh Lott uh, on the bench in foul trouble, yeah. not wanting to pick up that third foul. Uh, there's room for a couple others to get a lot of playing time and Cameron Knox and Trevor Atkins. Trevor with a good steal and layup there towards the end. Quick bucket. That scored is 20 to 12 in the second quarter. It was 17 or 15 to 13 in favor of the Lions after the first. I think I can count four, maybe five three-pointers by Sterling. Just in that second quarter alone. Yep. Yeah, just in that second quarter. Back with second half action shortly, and hopefully it'll be better than the first. Okay, here comes half number two. Number two between the uh, Sterling Black Bears and the Lions at the Slime of Bicentennial Center. It's the first annual Blue Gold Classic. The Black Bears with the possession arrow will inbound at half court. Mortimer with an immediate steal attempt. Can't get to the ball though, goes out of bounds to the Bears. Some of that hustle defense we're used to seeing there, Dale. Mm -hmm. And we bring up the pressure, here we go. Well, Josh Lott gets foul number three immediately. Blocking foul. Actually, he's entitled to that uh, place on the floor and Sterling kid trying to run over Josh. He's caught with his third foul. Ryan Weed with the steal. Shots up and out. They get the rebound. Down to court they go. 
One on two, he pulls up. Ryan Wheatle tips it out. Now we're seeing a little better mm -hmm. defense here. Early on here in the second half. Quick hands by both Ryans to knock away a catch. Five second call and Minneapolis gets the ball. I've seen them have to come from bigger deficits than this. Yeah, this is uh, this is nothing for our team when you've got three ball shooters like we have. That's just two two shots. Mm -hmm. We get the open look and uh, we get hot. Ryan Wheel drives ten footer from the side. It's in. Nice shot by Ryan that in between jump shot about a twelve footer. Thirty three twenty nine. Two on one for the Bears. And they couldn't control it out to Luke Weedle, down to Ryan Mortimer. Ryan holds it up. But we quickly throw it away. Pass goes right by Ryan. And Luke can't track it down and turnover Minneapolis. Just uh, with a chance to get back in this thing. Nice trip by Crum. That's three went to put the shot up from the side. Quick hands by Brandon Crum and almost a steal. Sterling will play it in under their own basket. Fifty. Oh! Tried to shoot it up and over Luke. Luke hit the ball clearly, but they call him on a foul. Second personal, second team foul. Needless to say, the crowd did not like that call. Neither did I, but I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. For now. <laughs> nice defense by Luke and uh, should have been called a jump ball. Instead was called a foul. Lot drives, layup is there. Oh, it's out. He gets, had the rebound. Luke Weedle with up, up and in. Nice strong move by Josh Lott. Uh, come on! Yeah. Gee whiz! That's exactly what it should be. You cannot do that. My, where did that kid get off? He needs to be off on the bench. He moved in under him and then tried to get up. Josh holding his ground. Stood in the same spot, did not move, and a push off. The Sterling Jeez. shoved him. I don't think I've ever, uh, ever seen that before out. basketball. Ryan Weedle, first to two, first one's out. Nice shot, soft shot, rims off. 34-31 is the score. First shot of the technical. Second one's there. 34-32. Lions with a chance to tie or go ahead. Here. We're right back in it, Dale. Yep. Down the Luke Weedle. Right in the lot. He drives. Puts it up. It's off. But he gets fouled. Nice strong move by yep. Josh Lott. We've been missing that. Josh Lott's decided he's coming to play the second half. And we can't make our free throws, Dale. Well, they're the ones that have to run uh, extra wind sprints for those, not me. So I'll I'll keep my mouth shut about it. 34-33, Black Bears. Traveling 
I thought. Three pointer. It's off. They get the rebound. Oster tag. Outside. No good. Josh Lock Ball with with a nice box out there and rebound. Down to Crum. And put the Luke Wheel turnaround jumpers there. We'll take the lead, lead again. First time since early in the second quarter. Three point attempt. It's short. Lot with the rebound. Out to Weedle. Sterling with a hole. Down to Mortimer. By the ref there. Lot, free throw line shot. It rims out. Black Bears three bound, tipped away by Luke we or Ryan Weedle. He and uh, Crum collide. Ball goes out of bounds. Luckily, nobody got hurt in the fracas there. Yeah, both of them were headed for the ball, tip it out, and collided there. Driving shot from the side is in. 36-35, Black Bears, and the... Did they call offensive foul? No. Oh, okay. They got uh, Sterling with a block, and it was a good call. <coughs> Blocking foul on the Black Bears. In the lot. Down the Luke Wheel turn around jumper, it's in. That's there. 37-36 Lions. Oh, he walks. And we've seen that a couple of times, Dale. Yeah, You've yeah. had that call, and finally that ref does call it. He just took one extra one that time, made it real obvious. Very obvious. One, two, three. Sterling's still on the man. Luke Weedle in the lot. Five-footer, five. it's out. They get the rebound. <coughs> Ryan Warner pressuring there from the side. Drive on Weedle. He travels blocked by Crum. Out of bounds to the Lions. A little bit out of control there. Number four for the Black Bears. I think he's still carrying a chip on his shoulder from that technical. I think you're right. Uh, not playing under control. Uh, same guy that got that technical on him. Tiptoes the line over there and ball out to Minneapolis. Token pressure here by Sterling, and Ryan Weedle brings the ball up. From the Lions with a one-point lead. Crumb drives. 15-footer, it's out. Rebound to the Black Bears. Shots are just a little short on the long ones. Driving layup is good. Lions trail again, 38-37. Crumb drives, 10, 15 footer from the side is over the rim. Nobody in position to get the rebound, so the Bears get it again. They have rebounded this horribly in the second quarter and early here in this third quarter. Running shot from the sides is no good. Blocking foul on Mortimer, maybe. Number four, Ryan Mortimer picking up his second personal foul. Team foul number three. Third foul on Ryan. Third team foul of the half. Drew Crossing comes in for Luke Weedle. Cameron Knox comes in for Josh Lott. Josh Lott, a little better performance here in the third quarter. Still playing with three fouls. Three-pointer from the side. It's out. They get the rebound. I think you're right, Dale. We have gotten Another rebound three -pointer. terribly bad. Off the front of the rim, Ryan Weedle with the rebound. Into Knox, it's in. Nice step down pass by Ryan to Cameron Knox, yep. and he takes it to the rack. 39-38, the Lions. And they're going to call Cameron not or uh, <laughs> Brandon Crum for a pushing foul there, blocking foul. Could have been a push off by number 12, very easy. Terrible call, actually. Brandon had the position. Sterling drew the foul, the contact, and Brandon's called with a block. Blocking. Third personal on Crum. 
He fouled out yesterday. Up over Mortimer on the side. Knox with the rebound. Crumb drives. Oh, dishes down to Crossan behind his back. Excellent dump off pass to Drew Crossan, and he was not watching for it. Bounces off his shoulder and out of bounds. Joe Zucker in the game. Joe comes in for Crumb. Lions the head, 39-38. Oh, and they call a push, a blocking foul on Mortimer. That gets his number four, I think. Well, number three. I just wish they'd call that both ways because uh, they'll do the bump on us when they're playing defense and we do it, get called with a foul. Three-pointer. Swoosh. He's a nice pick set for him, and he drained it. They take a two-point lead, 41-39. And put the cross and stolen. He telegraphed that pass. Another three pointer coming. And leave them open. They'll kill us. Line take a timeout. Trailing now by five. All that work we did to get back in it. We're back to five down on two trays. Back. Sterling with. Uh, a couple of three balls and uh, puts them back in the lead. We, They're not afraid to shoot that three ball. They're going to have to get out on them, stay right with them, and shut that thing down. 58 seconds left. Oh, no, excuse me. 149 left in the third quarter. Back with the second, third quarter action. Okay, here they come. Lions with the ball, trailing by five. 149 to go in the third quarter. Starting five, no. The starting five is less. Brandon Crum is on the floor. Joe Zucker is the fifth player. And uh, pass to Luke Wheeler gets away. 133 to go. Come the Bears with the five point lead. Minneapolis back in with their starters except oh. for Brandon Crumb, and they do finally call a push off on Sterling. That was a, either a real good acting job or it was a definite push off. A little bit of both, I think. <laughs> we have seen that before. Ryan, 15 footer, it's through. Nice shot by Ryan. 44, 41. Lions trail by three. Here come the Bears with the ball. Long two is out. Wheeler with the rebound. Almost throws the ball, getting it out to Ryan. 15 footer by Ryan. It, it rims out. Black Bears with the rebound. Two on one. Layups there. 46 41. 58 seconds to go in the quarter. Ryan Mortimer drives, dishes at the lot. Turnaround jumper, it's in. Josh tips it away, Mortimer picks it up. Over to Ryan Weedle. Kisses it off the glass for two. 46-43, 40 seconds to go. Hey. 46-45 is the score, favor of the Bears. Ten-footer, it's in. Bounced off the rim, up the backboard, and back in again. 48-45, 17 seconds to go. Lot to Mortimer. Ten seconds. Cross court to Weedle. Long three coming for Ryan. Ooh, out. Black Bears with the rebound. And the time expired with a three-point lead. We were down six. At half, we're down three at the end of the third quarter, so I guess we gained a little bit there. Well, actually, we did go ahead. Lions with the lead there a little bit later on in the third quarter, and Sterling came back to reclaim the lead, and we saw ourselves down five 
nice little push there at the end of the third quarter to uh, get back in this game and shot there, uh, which would have tied it at the end of the third quarter, just went off. And Minneapolis trailing by three here to a very good Sterling team. Outscored them 18 to 15 that quarter. See if we can't get the final business taken care of in the fourth quarter. Okay, the Lions get possession here, possession error to begin the fourth quarter. Ryan Mortimer to inbound the ball. To Luke Weedle, kicks it out to Ryan Weedle. And to Josh Lott, he drives, to over, kick it out to nice feed to Luke Wheeler coming down the lane. 48-47 Black Bears, and they're in trouble. Good things happen when you move near They got out, out of it. Ryan. Just barely they got out of it. Oh, they averted a steal there and lay it up and in. 50 to 47. Nice ball down to Mortimer. Five footer, it's out. They get the rebound. Ryan Wheeler goes for the steal. I bet they've out rebounded us three or four to one. It's amazing. No offensive boards whatsoever and it's one shot now. Uh -huh. uh, they're even, I think, Probably out rebounded us almost on our defensive board. Another rebound for them. They put it up and in. The little guy drew Luke's attention. He got out of position, and Black Bears are there for the stick back. Back to a five point lead. For the Bears. Thank you. Steal Green attempt row. draws Finally a foul on the Bears. They put the lot. They put the Luke Weedle. Puts it in. Nice chippy. 52-49. Up over the Luke, it's out. They get the rebound. Turnaround jumper, it's out. Crumb with the rebound. I didn't see Brandon come back in. There we finally get that defensive board. Weedle Let's for three. three, it's short. Bears get the rebound. They don't watch what they're doing. They throw it away. Lot for three. You can hit that. It's out. They get the rebound. One and out again. And the Bears take a timeout. Leading by three, 5.39 to go in the game. 52 to 49. There they come for the final 5.39. Lions trailing by three, Black Bears with the ball. Lady Lions came back for a victory in their game and uh, let's see if the Guys can do the same thing here. 537 left in the fourth quarter, and we're down three. I would look for Sterling to be very patient here. Josh Lott gets foul number four. 50 was going to work on Weedle, and Josh reached in to try to nip the ball out. One and one here. I guess that was a shooting foul. Second one's in. Five point deficit again for the Lions. 
Gets the shooters roll and it drops. Wheedleton or Mortimer, 10 footer from the sides, right through. Fifty-four, fifty-one, Lions. Ryan Mortimer call for foul number four, I think. Ryan Mortimer picking up his fourth personal foul. That's deep foul number seven on the Lions. One and one coming up for the Bears. Ryan real close to having that position there, and the Sterling player tripped. As good as shooting as they're shooting free throws, we don't need to give them any one and one or double bonus. <laughs> Missed second one. 54, 50, 55, 51. Luke Wheeler with the rebound. Mortimer drives, kicks it back to Lot. Luke Wheeler, free throw line shot, bounces off. Black Bears with the rebound. Not a good shot by Luke. Typically, he's a swishing type guy. I think maybe he's feeling the pressure and thought he's going to have to shoot a little harder. Three-pointer. It is out. Good position by Minneapolis. Josh Lott claims that board. Crumb under the basket. That's no good. Bears get the rebound. Kicked it off Lott's feet. Out of bounds to the Bears. Minneapolis going for the trap over there. And... Brandon missed on the underneath, underneath basket there. Reverse layup, I guess, what I'm looking for. And we find ourselves down four. Crumb steals it. He drives. Layup is good for Brandon. 55-53, two-point deficit now. Ryan steals from behind. It can't quite catch it. Can't quite catch up to it. That's the hustle we're needing. That's what's going to take to win this game if we can get it done. Good effort by Ryan Weedle to come from behind and knock that ball away. They feed off each other when they're doing that, too. One of them gets a steal, and the other one will go after it, too. Drive up over Weedle, and they're going to call a block and foul. Luke oh. Weedle called for the blocking foul on a drive to the basket by Sterling. Third personal on Luke. Eighth team foul, one and one here. Three-point deficit now. Gets them both. 57-53, Bears. Crum on the side, kicks it out to Ryan. Trying to get it in the Weedle. He's well covered on his own. Lott takes a three. It's off. Black Bears get the rebound. Sterling well skilled and coached and boxing out on that defensive board limits Minneapolis to one shot. We cannot get an offensive board. Over Weedle. It's out. He gets the rebound. Down to Mortimer. He drives, kicks it over to Crumb. He drives the side, kicks it back out to. Tries to get it to Ryan Wheel, but it's stolen away. 57 53, 235 to go on the contest. Lions trail by four. Bears the chance to go up by six or more. Three pointer coming. It's off. Crumb gets the rebound. Down to Ryan Wheedle. He strokes for three. It's off. Bears with the rebound. Luke Wheedle almost got four, foul number four there. Crumb.
Crown almost gets a steal with a, oh. <laughs> thought about they call a foul. A foul, timeout Back Bears. 2.06 to go, the Lions trailing 57-53. Okay, the Black Bears getting inbound the ball here on the near side. Coach Williams not uh, substituting quite as much here in the second half, and the guys on the floor are going to finish it. Sterling with a shuffle step before he took off. Ten-footer is short. Luke Weedle with rebound. Heading oh, off. his outlet pass is stolen. Sterling had... Their arm all the way through. Luke Weedle's grabbing his and no call. One thirty foot to go. Lions trail by four. Can't really foul him much. Lock. Really a no good no call there by yeah. Josh trying to draw the foul. Three-pointer coming. He stepped on the line, though. Two-pointer. That's the best call that Ray has made all night. 59-53, and the Lions have a minute to go to get the game somehow. Timeout, Lions. 53 and a half seconds to go, trailing 59-53. Okay, here come the Lions, down by six. 53 and a half seconds to go. Now we need a quick shot and a good stop or a... Mortimer inbounds it to Ryan Weedle. Three ball here. Uh, to Weedle. Three coming from Ryan, it's there. That's what we needed, and a quick timeout. Timeout Lions, 59-56, 40 seconds to go. We need a quick steal and get some more points. Back in it, I don't think we need to foul just yet. They're in the one and one, so I think just good uh, tight defense here, Dale, and hope for a quick turnover. And we're gonna need another shot for a, a three-pointer here, so. You know, that's a pretty stroke there. Yeah, that was uh, right on there. Okay, here come the Lions to play some defense. And Josh Law gets foul number five. I really don't know how they can call that a foul on Josh Lott when he had the ball in his hands. Yeah, yeah and the guy and uh, the guy that called it, the Sterling player was had his back to him. It was between Lott and him, and he was behind. He was behind the Sterling player. And they end up calling the foul on Ryan Mortimer, and he just fouled out. Oh, okay. That makes a little more sense. I couldn't figure. I couldn't see. I called it a lot. I couldn't either. And Josh was starting to complain, and rightfully so, because they were sure looking like they were calling it on him. One and one. That was the ninth foul. Well, we can hope for a miss here, Dale, and then we have a chance to tie this thing up. Joe Zucker coming in for Ryan Mortimer. Well, they knock them down when they need them. Mm, well, they've, that's been fairly regular throughout the game, unfortunately. <laughs> this is the second one. Luke Wheeler with the rebound. It's a four-point deficit for the Lions. 32 seconds to go. Crum with the ball. Over to Wheeler. He drives. Lott takes a three. It's out. Weedle to Luke. It's up yeah. and in. He's fouled. That'll work. 
17 and a half seconds to go. A three the conventional way. I thought uh, Josh Lott was going to get foul number five there for a second. He was trying. No call. That's good. Because he sure was going after the ball. <laughs> well, you know, what the heck. At this point of the game, you either, you either make the play or get kicked out. 17 seconds left in the game. Luke Weedle goes to the line to shoot one. That's true. 60-59 line or Black Bears leading by one over the line. 17 and a half seconds to go. So the Lions need a big work come through to get this game in hand. The Black Bears have gotten the ball across the court, but they've been very tenuous on the throw-in passes. So let's look for a nice steal here. Now we can hope for a five-second call here. Timeout White again. They want to see what we're going to line up as and talk about it again. Okay, here we go for, again, another attempt at the last 17 and a half seconds of the game. Lions trailing by one, 60 to 59. And we almost get the steal. Ryan Wheel call for pushing foul. Quick foul, that's what we needed there. Yeah. Ryan thought he had the steal there. 1.4 seconds ticked off the clock. Tenth foul, double bonus coming up. Pretty creative inbounds play with the weave they mm -hmm. Sterling had going there. This is the second, we get the rebound. We're down by Deuce. Can go to overtime or win it. 10 seconds. Weedle drives. He's gonna go for the final shot, it looks like. Over to Crumb for three from the side, it's out. The Lions lose a second game by two, 61 to 59. There at the Bicentennial Center. In the That's blue and gold classic. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Crime there in the corner for a that uncontested just, shot. That just easily could have gone in. I mean, yeah. he makes those shots all the time. I'm thinking it was a three ball to, to boot. It would have won the game for oh, me. Yep. Ryan Porter had eight points. Ryan Weedle with 10 points. Her Edmonds with two points. Mortimer eight. Weedle 10. Lot three. Luke Weedle with 25 points. So Luke Weedle comes away with two impressive games of uh, 20 points and 25 points respectively. We outscored him by one in that quarter. But unfortunately, that's going to put us in the rubber match for an early Saturday afternoon contest. Early Saturday. Or is it morning? I can't remember. Yeah, it'd be the morning. Well, after the girls play it. Girls would play at 10, and then the boys would follow. 11.30, I would have guessed. <clears throat> Saturday, 12.15. Good effort by Minneapolis uh, up against some pretty stiff competition with Rossville and now uh, the Sterling Black Bears and uh, a couple of tough losses. But really, uh, to our credit, I know there were two or three boys uh, sick, uh, real sick. Matter of fact, Brad Kaiser did not even take his warm-ups off this game. And tough to get going when you don't have much energy when you're fighting that old flu. So. Uh, Luke Weedle led the team with, I think, 25, 25 points. points. Leading so. all scores, yep. Pretty good game, Luke. A lot of kids come off the bench to play well. Cameron Knox, Trevor Atkins, Joe Zucker, and uh, Drew Crossan. So we went pretty deep in the bench, and uh, Josh Light had a little better second half. Didn't foul out. 
has been in foul trouble all the games over here in this tournament. So he's going to have to quicken his step just a little bit and get that position before <coughs> uh, his person he's guarding. So. Well, hopefully our boys will all be over at the flu book come Saturday and we can show people a little bit more what Minneapolis basketball is about because we have just unfortunately kind of stunk up the joint so far. But, yeah, we uh, haven't really got on track. Uh, we've had some teams that are playing pretty tough defense on us, so uh, to our credit, we have had some pretty stiff competition. No, Those that's true. I mean, we haven't, but we, we just other than the first half against Rossville, we haven't played Minneapolis ball. Right. I agree. And we uh, we got owned the second half yesterday against Rossville. Mm -hmm. uh, up 15 and I think the boys uh, didn't have any energy for the defensive end and let Rossville get back in the game. And you know, on that, that second quarter here tonight's what killed us. I mean, when they when they went, what they outscored us. Uh... Well, Dale, I'll help you wrap things up. I'm gonna go find that bowl of chili and cheeseburger I've been looking for for mm -hmm. two days. What did we get outscored in the second quarter? 20 to 12. That's what sealed the deal. We could never climb back out of it as much as we tried. Well, thanks. shot real well uh, from the free throw line, Dale, and, you know, down and, the stretch. And the, the, and the, and the trays. Yeah. Yep. They hit a couple threes. I think Sterling probably had, oh, six, three, maybe seven three-pointers. They cooled off on that in the second half, yeah. but that second quarter, they, they couldn't hardly miss them. I think they got one or two in the second half. But. Tough well, loss here for the Big Blue. Well, Mike, thanks for helping, and uh, – we will uh, be back Saturday here on MCTV Channel 37. Brought to you by the MHS Linebackers.